I want to talk about how to take a break from OMAD but still get results. There are ways you can combine other styles of time-restricted eating to help you stay consistent with your weight loss goals. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Daniela Joy and I've lost over 110 pounds on my weight loss journey. I lost the majority of my weight eating a one meal a day fasting schedule. One meal a day is just a form of time-restricted eating. Instead of eating my calories that are in a calorie deficit, throughout the day. I just squished it into a four hour to one hour, sometimes half an hour eating window. And the reason why I did this is that I wanted to take advantage of the metabolic switch that happens when you fast. Fasting puts you in a low blood sugar state. It puts you in a state of healing. Ketones are being produced and everything. And the reason why I wanted to do that is because I struggled with metabolic disease. I was obese. I started my weight loss journey off at 282 pounds. So trying to lose weight in the quote unquote way that everyone says, oh, just reduce your calories only worked for so long for me because I was hitting a wall. And the reason why I was hitting a wall is because I was metabolically ill from all the foods I've been eating, from the sugar that's added to everything, how fructose destroys our mitochondria, the powerhouse of the cell. And it just made my body not be able to respond to dieting properly. It was really hard to diet because I would just get hungry and hungry. And it was really hard to stay in a calorie deficit. So I thank OMAD and keto for helping me recorrect my metabolic health because now I'm at a point where I'm eating throughout the day where I can throw in OMAD days like I'm doing today and not feel like deathly hungry. I'm not hungry at all and I think I'm about 18 hours into my fast and I was eating throughout the week for the last week. <laughs> so I owe it to OMAD for literally teaching me how to diet properly, teaching me how to correctly understand my satiety signals and to really reversing my satiety signals. Anyway, let's jump into the topic at hand. If you're doing one meal a day and you're feeling a little bit exhausted, here are some strategies that you can use. So if you just want a break from fasting, you can do two mad. Two mad, also known as two meal a day, is a form of time restricted eating. So this is how you properly do two mad in order to still see the same results that you would get with OMAD. So to properly do a two mad, I'll mention two ways. Number one, you want to eat first thing in the morning, like literally when you get out of bed, like go eat, go eat your food. And the food that you want to eat, you want to eat foods that you can either do a keto food, you can eat like keto like food. So you can eat food high in fat, just a typical breakfast, some bacon, eggs, and maybe some keto bread, or you can eat carbohydrates, but you want to keep that meal in the 400 to 600 calorie range. You don't want to go higher than that. And then you just fast throughout the rest of the day. And then when you would normally eat your one meal a day, eat your one meal a day. You can do it in that method to help you have a quote unquote break with OMAD and you will still see results on the scale. If you want a guaranteed results on the scale, I highly recommend breaking your morning fast so that first meal with two mad with a keto meal because if you do a keto meal it will give you more energy and it will just keep you in that state of ketosis and keep you in that state of fasting so you want a meal that's 80 20 you want high fat like i said bacon eggs you can even have a nice fatty ribeye in the morning if you want why not have steak and eggs in the morning i've done that that's a great way to start your morning because you're getting the protein which will help crush the cravings because our body constantly wants protein and it will keep you satiated and give you enough energy so that is one way that you can quote unquote take a break from omad another way that you can take a break from omad and still keep your rhythm with OMAD is doing the 18-6 fast. 18-6 or 19-5, that works. You can go a little bit less. So if you just want to break your fast a little early, do it. An 18-hour fast is still a solid fast. You can get results with an 18-hour fast if you've been doing OMAD consistently for a very long time. Now, it depends from person to person. Someone can just do an 18-hour fast just to begin with and still get results. It's fine. As long as you're putting yourself in a fasted state, it's going to help correct your metabolic health. And that's the key to OMAD is correcting metabolic health so we can get off of OMAD and eat normally throughout the day and learn how to eat normally throughout the day. 
And learning how to eat normally is eating in a way that doesn't spike your blood sugar. And that is basically having the proper macronutrient ratios for each of your meal. Make sure you have lots of protein, have some carbs, have lots of fiber, and you know, do it that way. Just a normal looking healthy plate, kind of meals that I'm putting on the screen here. Anyway, I hope this video was helpful for you. Just if you want a break from OMAD, if you made it this far into the video, just drop in some clock emojis and I am sending you mad love. Take care. Bye.